so as the title suggests this video is really about how you control your emotions like it's not a clickbait okay so before you watch this video if you really get control of your emotions let me tell you this this thing that it's like you're the boss of your emo own emotions like you really control them and it's not like holding yourself back like before you cry or something it's like do i really need to cry at this moment and then you cry because you're the owner of the emotions it's not like let me just breathe in or just hold the tears back or some sort of slight trick this is le the legit thing so that's what it is so before you watch the whole video let me tell you that's how it is so if you don't want to end up like this you can go ta da so no <laughs> okay so what you do is like see the thing is most of the people they control their emotions because they're not too attached to it like um let's say you uh, see something that makes you really happy like you get a gift or something you get a wide smile on your face without yourself realizing it right that's because you're attached to that particular emotion or let's say you lost something like you just lose something and then you just you know start crying or something depending on what the thing was like if it was a small thing as your pen you wouldn't cry definitely but if it was your record you would or you might right depends on people of course but yeah so about that now see our emotions are like we are just attached to it like see this is the emotion and this is you the human so if you just form a distance like if you just you know form a distance you can control it right i chose to draw it to depict it visually because that's how it would make sense like okay let's say you have a person really close to you you can't really control them unless they are at a distance right but hey 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 we are not talking about humans now we are talking about your emotions so for to how do you detach from emotions that's what you're thinking right so the thing is before something happens like let's say you get a gift like you get this gift okay uh so you would probably think right like that this makes me happy or something or it might even depend on the gift it what it is like uh let me just draw it properly my drawing skills are trash man forget it so now you might wonder if it would be something like you actually use it it would make you happier like let's say it is a perfume that you like it would make you happier but let's say it's some sort of makeup brush and you already have it would it make you happier right so there are like a lot of factors that control your happiness like if it was just a prank and not like a real gift it would just destroy all of your happiness in a single moment right so it is not the gift that makes you happier the thing is it's not the thing that makes you happier you just set some emotions like if it's that it's going to make me happier and let's say if, if it was something unreal like a lottery ticket that's going to give you like millions of dollars or something you know i mean as much as that sounds unreal it would definitely make you happy because you have set that criteria in your mind that money is going to make you happier that's suppose that thing so the criteria that you have set in your mind like that's going to make you happier that is going to make you sad let's say it was some sort of dead cockroach you might freak out right at first you would freak out and give it the emotion of weirdfulness or disgust you know or you might just laugh at like what is this even so you just have those criteria in your mind right like that is going to give you that emotion and so and so so if you just you know like i said here 
you are attached to your emotions because they are close to you like see this is emotions and this is the human you are so you are really attached because there's nothing between you so what if you create some sort of cl- conflict like let's say you create some thoughts like no that emotion why do i feel happy if it was a makeup brush or why do i feel happy because it was some favorite artist creation of mine like some favorite artist that i stand something from them something had written something this that or whatever why does it make you happy what exactly is you know coming into you that makes you smile or something what is the thing when you analyze it you would get these conflicting thoughts and you know of all these thoughts that come into you this is how it's going to be and uh, and once you form a distance like that is detachment from your own emotions like why is this new and making me happy i mean i know when you a brush a mere brush a s- small looking 10 cm brush is making me happy what if is so great about it what can it even do just help me in my makeup i mean my hands can do better <laughs> okay so when you give the yourself those sort of thoughts you're just gonna go like okay why was i getting excited over little thing so that's how you can detach yourself so once you kind of detach that's when you can actually control yourself like man even if the brush doesn't do much i like it because it looks cute you know you can actually control yourself in this way so of course try it harder till it works right and yeah i did it and it works for me so that's it for today's video <laughs> okay this was something like not studies and these sort of videos i actually enjoy making you know it's fun all right so see you in your see you in my next video goodbye good night